sleepiness, and other symptoms. To get proper sleep and feel more awake, turn to Comprehensive Sleep Medicine Associates, located in Houston and Sugarland, or the Sadler Clinic Sleep Disorder Center, located in the Woodlands and Conroe. Both are directed by Dr. Gerald Simmons, a nationally recognized neurologist and sleep disorder specialist. Welcome back, everybody. If you have a medical question, email our medical experts at greatdayhouston at khou.com. A diagnosis of diabetes can be terminal. It can be like a slow death. Instead of just managing the disease, our next guest says get rid of it and get rid of the medications and the side effects that come with them. Please welcome back cardiologist Dr. Coda J. Reddy and his two patients, Mary and Jay. Good morning. <laughs> Something really important there, oftentimes when you would go to a doctor, they would help you to manage your disease. What you're saying is, let's not manage it. No. In some cases, you have to manage a disease. That's Correct. what it takes. Correct. But in other cases, you can get rid of it. And that's what's so amazing about what we can do to deal with type 2 diabetes. That is true. Instead of managing it, why don't we try, uh, try stopping it? Change the diet. If you change the diet, your blood sugar won't go up. If your blood sugar won't go up, there's no reason for you to take medications. That's exactly what they have done. Yeah, all right. It says change your diet. But when you, and oftentimes doctors will say, okay, look, we're going to give you the insulin, but you need to watch what you eat. Is that what your doctor told you? Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. so what was the problem? Um, well, they put me on the ADA diet, which is too, very much too high in carbs for someone who is, has a problem with their pancreas and processing carbs. And uh, my blood sugars were all over the place. Uh, they, the medicine made them go low, the diet made them go high. I was on a roller coaster. Yeah. At one point, a doctor said to you, okay, we're going to have to up your insulin? Absolutely. Absolutely. I had called to say, hey, my insulin, num I mean, my blood sugar numbers are super high on this diet. What do I do? I'll take some more insulin. Mm. And you knew in your gut that that was it's not the answer. Not the rent yeah, it's not right. Okay. And, and you were dealing with diabetes right. as well. So how was your treatment going? Well, I've been carrying diabetes for 17 years. Wow. And from the East Coast to West Coast to every coast, I've been to the doctors, diabetes doctors, and nobody has like a proper instruction with a clear instruction. And my diabetes has been running 200, 300 sometimes, very high, with minimal uh, carb eating and all those things. Yeah, at this point, uh, we're talking about th this is gonna be a threat to your life. Yes, I mean, obviously, uh, but as, uh, uh, I mean, even I went to Herman and all these places, uh, as soon as they give glyphosate, increase one, increase two, increase four, insulin increase, increase. So, uh, and they're saying, yeah, they give a normal instruction, you exercise and eat this, but it's a confusing information. I don't know why diabetes industry is doing that. But I didn't know Dr. Reddy is a diabetes doctor. I know that he's more of a heart doctor. Yeah, because it's connected but, to the heart. Yes, All right. right. So, uh, and I think that's, that's kind of where medicine is kind of going now, where I think we realize the whole diet thing on our own doesn't work for a lot of people. Right. You know, and obviously if you were eating one way and that's how you got there, then that's, that's you're going to continue doing that or just not know what to do. I have to admit it's a little hard, but when uh, Jay came to the office, I put him on the diet. I asked him to start eating the bread and change the diet, told him exactly what to eat for breakfast, snacks, yeah, lunch, and dinner. Let me back up so people don't get confused. There's a certain type of bread that you're talking about that right. can satiate your carb cravings. Right, it's called the ready bread, the bread which I've designed. Basically, when you eat the bread, your blood sugar does not go up. So he started doing that. Three days later, he comes back for a stress test. He stands there and says, I can't believe it. I'm off medications and my blood sugar is less than 100. It's Three actually, days later? It's 80 and it's never <laughs> been like that in years. And he says, how come nobody told me this? I, I, don't, I didn't have an answer for that. And he just point by well, asking the question. I'm how worried about the that? industry, diabetes industry, where it is going. Uh, nothing against diabetes doctors, but they don't have a clear instruction. Yeah, and I think the, the, I'm the sorry problem to say, is, but, uh, is that <laughs> you have people who diagnose and say, here is the problem. Let's treat the symptoms so we can, right. you know, get this thing to, to, to calm down or to keep you alive. They put it that way. And maintain it. Yeah, and right. maintain it. And you're saying get rid of it. All right. And so how long did it take for you? What did you change exactly? It was within days, the same story. Um, what did I change? I uh, my exercise. Uh, I don't do like massive blocks, 20 minutes, three times a day, two times a day. And then I eat Dr. Reddy's bread. Um, it does satisfy your carb cravings and I'm not hungry. Before I was like a Mack truck at a plate. I'm yeah. just eat. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Eat, yeah. eat. 
now I could go all day. And so you all knew a change had happened because you're taking Absolutely. your blood sugar levels every Absolutely. day. Some Absolutely. people Absolutely. take it several times a day. All right, so when you say something like this, Dr. Ray, I think it's still hard for a lot of us to believe that something as simple as a diet, which I do believe food, nutrient-dense food, is God's medicine. I mean, it's the medicine, it, that's really Correct. medicine. Where it's hard for a lot of us to believe, though, if it doesn't come with a prescription in a bottle, that, that, that is, is that's that powerful. And that's why I have a few slides I want to show you. And if you look at it, what are we doing? Everything we do from breakfast, last snack, lunch, and dinner is what we eat is carbs. If you eat carbs, be it low glycemic or high glycemic, look, look at the slide. Some patients say I eat bread, some say I eat oatmeal. Look at that, bread, oats, lentils, beans, uh, rice. All of those are starch. When they become what? Sugar. When you eat those starches, what happens to your blood sugar? Goes up. When you see the next slide, it essentially talks about uh, what happens when you eat, uh, I, I made a cartoon, it's called the forbidden tree. What is the forbidden tree? All the starches you're eating and the forbidden fruit. People are eating fruits because it's good for them. They eat bananas, they eat potatoes in the form of, uh, uh, for lunch. Mm -hmm. And what is, what's happening to the blood sugar? It goes up. They develop obesity and diabetes. What happens in the end? You end paying for it. Next slide. Now that's where my bread comes into play, where it's made from soy and flax. It does not have sugar. It's very low in carb. When you eat it, your blood sugar does not go up. Next slide. Now look at this, avocado is good, banana is bad. Why? Both are fruits. Avocado is full of potassium, uh, banana is full of potassium, but avocado gives you no sugar, banana gives you sugar. Now you eat a banana, what happens to your blood sugar? Goes it's up, fine. eat a banana. Now, is when a banana avocado, it goes down. bad or is it in moderation? It's the problem that we don't eat a little banana. Let's say if Mary or Jay eat a banana, what happens to your blood sugar? Immediately goes up. Yeah. If, in, if they eat an avocado, it doesn't go up. All right, so they, because it, for them, in their case, their, right. their pancreas is already compromised. Correct, so what happens to someone whose pancreas is not compromised, you keep eating it in the future, you are going to compromise it. So the whole idea is, why are you eating it when you don't have to? So if you take the bread and eat, make guacamole and eat it, what happens? Your blood sugar doesn't go up. Take the bread and eat an egg, blood sugar does not go up. Next slide, talks about, again, the same thing. Everybody runs away from an egg and they eat potatoes. What is potato? Pure starch. What is an egg? There is no starch or sugar. Eat an egg. Uh, Pita bread with egg, your blood yeah, sugar does not go. People say, well, well, watch out for the cholesterol in an egg. Right, but remember, cholesterol in the diet does not raise your cholesterol. It is the sugar, starch, and saturated fat, predominantly saturated fat, that raises your cholesterol. Meaning, uh -huh. if I eat 10 eggs, my cholesterol goes up by 10 points. If I eat a piece of cheese, my cholesterol goes up by 50 to 100 points. Yeah. Do you walk away from an egg or do you walk away from a cheese? You walk away from an egg, but you eat cheese. You never realize that that cheese is raising your cholesterol. Yeah, but and a lot of times people will think that like fat makes fat. Fat doesn't necessarily make fat. No. It's the sugar that makes the fat. Sugar and starch, and the weak link is the insulin. When you increase insulin, you gain weight. That's it. Yeah, and so the thing that the bread did for you all is because you admit every now and then you got to have a piece of cheesecake. You, you got to cheat. But the thing that makes it easier with this bread is that it, again, satisfies that craving, and then you find yourself not even wanting really the other bad stuff, and it fills you up. Right. I can right. walk straight by it now. The st you know, the stuff in the kitchen in the office, you know, yeah. the donuts were left. Never Would you have believed me. that before if somebody no, said to you, I oh, think, no, just eat this? Did I you believe think, him when he told you? No, I, I didn't believe. I thought he's another doctor, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's clear instruction, like he's saying avocado and banana. That clarification is not given by the diabetes industry. They will tell you to drink Coke, Diet Coke, this Coke, that Coke, uh, whichever sugars are not there, sugar substitute and those kind of things. They are not hard and fast on that saying that you only do this thing. There is no yeah. instruction like that. You figured that's out where that the people need is. to be yes. told what to do. And I've seen that it in your correct. office. You've got that card there and it tells you this, it, these are the fruits and vegetables you can eat. These are the things correct. you can eat. So if you know exactly, and these are the long do list not actually. Cross the line. Yeah, yeah, and you've got a long list there. So it tells you exactly what to do. Correct. And you found patients over and over and over again who come in who are reversing diabetes, saving their heart, and just living the life. Reversing it. diabetes, dropping their medications, dropping weight, sleeping better, feeling better, not having the highs and the lows which they're going on. Because the body's not sick anymore. That's right. And Jay was saying something. Right. Yeah. And, and, and I would say this way that I'm not a great exercising or I do great things. All I did was simple diet change and a little golf swing here and there. And that was good enough for me to control the blood sugar and that was surprising to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Because that has never happened to me that I could control the uh, blood sugar level. Yeah. All I did was more tablets, more insulin, more things, more things, and that's all, you know. You weren't getting so, well. Uh, I was not getting yeah. proper interest. On any medication now? Uh, no, I'm, I'm basically what I no, do is no, 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 no medication. No cholesterol, no, medication. no diabetes, no I mean, high blood pressure. Let's put it this way. If I make a mistake, then I will take one library tablet, but I know that I made yeah, a mistake. Yeah. I went and ate something. Oh, if I right. don't do that discipline, that there's no need for it. Well, it's to find out more about Dr. Reddy's diet for diabetes and other cardiac health issues, as well as his Reddy Bread, call the Reddy Cardiac Wellness Center at 281-491-0044. That's 281-491-0044, or online at readycardiology.com or Reddy Bread.
www.ghostbusters.com. Dr. Reddy, thank you very much. Thank you. Coming up, we're helping you put the brakes on father time when it comes to getting old. It's the key.